Growing up, my life was really fun. Um, our family was a sports family. We always enjoyed being at football games and um, just sports were a big part of us growing up. And I remember being 10 years old and picking a sport to play and choosing soccer. And I remember the first time we had practice, I was like so excited all the time. Like I could not wait. I wanted to be at practice. I wanted to train. Um, and pretty early on, I wanted to be a really good soccer player. And at 16, I was called in to be in a national team camp with some of the best players in the world. Mia Hamm, Brandi Chastain, um, Julie Foudy, girls that I had posters of on the walls of my room. Uh, at 17, a year later, um, I was invited to move to San Diego, California from Florida to train at the Olympic training site in Southern California and skip basically the second half of my senior year of high school. And it was the most incredible experience of my life. My freshman year, I report to college and have an incredible preseason and I'm training with the national team and I'm trying to go to the 2000 Olympic Games in Sydney and um, I found myself four games into my freshman season with a freak injury and I broke my leg in, in a game and I remember laying on the field and thinking, I cannot believe this, like everything's over. I guess it's called depression, I don't know, but I remember having surgery um, and realizing that my hopes of an Olympic gold medal and my hopes of going to Sydney were crushed. It's, I think it's then when I started to think, there's got to be more to life than this. Like, I, this can't be all of it. And of course, a friend of mine who was three years older than me said, hey, you should come to this Bible study. It's great, they're so nice. And I was like, uh, no, I do not want to do that. And then she persisted and finally I did. And uh, one of the leaders of the Bible study decided she wanted to meet with me and answer any questions that I had. And probably six or eight weeks later after meeting with her every single week, I decided to accept Jesus into my life. And I remember where I was when it happened and how it felt and it was like a marked change for me. I was different. I, I can't explain it, but I was different. I remember that day things coming into perspective when I gave my life to Jesus and said, you can control everything. I let go of my career, let go of my dreams, I let go of what I want and I give my life to you. I never made it to an Olympic Games and I never made it to a World Cup, but it was more than that for me. It was kind of soccer, this incredible sport that I played my whole life, brought me to know the Savior. My name is Nandy Price, and I've been ransomed.